Kuva Brahma is a weapon that needs no introduction. In fact, I don't need to put up a super catchy title, just to show how awesome this Kuva weapon re is. It's very remarkable when it comes to destructive power, that even the strongest in the game, the Tenno, would fall with just one accidental shot coming from this primary weapon. Honestly, at first glance, I did conclude that this weapon is just a copycat of the lens. But when I finally got it and use it against every faction in the game, I felt that the power that's radiating inside Kuva Brahma is way stronger compared to the Corpus Tactical Nuke. It's better for so many reasons. Although it has lower critical stats, it packs a lot of status chance. Also, the charge rate of Kuva Brahma is way faster that you don't actually need any fire rate mods on it, which allows you to maximize its full damage potential. And the final nail in the coffin is it has cluster bomb tipped arrows, which gave me the idea that I can spread massive docks and clouds in a big area. Not to mention that I can also add a bit of slash damage to it, to make the effect stings like a pact of killer giant hornets. Damage is not the only thing that made me love Kuva Brahma. This bow is one of the most gorgeous weapons ever made in the game. It looks good and it sure damn packs a lot of firepower. The best part is, this bow can be upgraded up to level 40. To do that, you'll need to put 5 former on the Brema, which is a fair price if you want to have some dumb fun with this weapon. And yes, upgrading it to max rank will give you extra mod capacity so, it's a win. Win situation for you lads. One last thing that I would like to mention about this bow before we proceed to builds and synergies is the fact that it's good because you can actually pick the innate element for this weapon. As you all know, Kuva weapons will adapt to certain innate element depending on its progenit to warframe. Depending on the frame you choose, you can actually add extra element, or physical damage on your Kuva Brahma. So squad leader, what's the best element for Kuva Brahma then? Well, this is just a personal preference, but I would say toxin. Okay. Let me flex my 58% docs in Kuva Brahma. I've got this raw, and did not do any valence fusion. Man, I love this weapon. But anyway, I find toxin the best for Kuva Brahma since it's a very versatile element. Remember when I said that I choose this weapon because it can help me spread toxin in a big area? Well, toxin element could help me do that. When I combine this with any heat element, I could form a suffocating gas build for Kuva Brahma, which is very lethal by the way. Aside from gas, I could go with a corrosive build, and also, I can form a viral build which is really great against high level units. And remember, all the combined elements I've mentioned can be paired with hunter munitions, which allows us to proc slash, then bleed ticks. Just imagine how much destructive power we can form with these mod setup. Before we proceed, I would humbly ask you to like this video and subscribe if you haven't so. This will somehow help the channel grow and it will truly be an inspiration for me to create more quality content for you guys. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. Now, to help you see a clear picture of how you can make Kuva Brahma broken, here are some builds that I recommend for you to test out. First off is a corrosive slash build. By the way, I have 5 former on this weapon which increases its mod capacity. I just plain go with V-Polarity all the way, since almost all the mods I use on Kuva Brahma are V-Polarity. Also, these 6 mods right over here are constant, and don't change. You can say that this is where you spent all those V-Polarities. The only mods that would change are these two dual status mods, and the Exilus mod slot. Now, a corrosive slash build is pretty lethal against high level, heavily armored units. The cluster bombs will make sure that you can proc corrosive almost every time, while it also ensures that enemies will die from bleed ticks when they don't from the explosion. The second build somehow works like the first one. It's a viral slash build. You all know how viral pairs well with slash. There's no big comparable difference between the first build but, when a viral slash Kuva Brahma is paired with frames that can strip enemy armors, then you'll see a big difference. That's the thing about the build variation I'm showing you know. It's not made to make this video longer, but it's created so you have an idea what build to use when you pair your Kuva Brahma with a specific frame. So to make it short, I would suggest going with a corrosive slash build when using the Brahma with your usual, or damage boosting frames, while use it with a viral slash variation when you are using it with armor stripping warframe. But that's not all, 
You can also mod your Kuva Brahma with a gas and slash setup, the same mod setup, but the only difference is, you put thermite rounds on the mix. Honestly, a suffocating gas and slash build on your Kuva Brahma is not that great when used by ordinary frames, against heavily armored units. It shines when paired with stealth multiplier, or frames that can strip armors or, specific frames that can make the gas proc super effective. Trust me, you will most likely be watching a gas and slash porn movie when you use it with a certain synergy. Well, you won't wait that long as the synergy part of this video is next. So earlier, you have seen Rivenant taking Kuva Brahma to new heights, but that's just a portion of it. There are a couple of frames that can make this Kuva tech bow absolutely broken. But squad leader, Kuva Brahma is already broken. Yes, we know that, but that doesn't mean we can't make it even more powerful. Just like I've said before, some Warframe abilities make this bow extremely effective. First off, a teeming virulence Nidus. Mod your Nidus with lots of power strength, then add the teeming virulence augment, and you will end up doing red crit damage with your Kuva Brahma. A gas and slash build for this setup would be fitting, since Nidus has his lava ability to group enemies, and allow to gas and slash proc to be fully maximized. Ash with his Seeking Shuriken could also be a candidate for a gas and slash build. Once Ash takes out all armors, enemies will be susceptible to both gas and slash. Not to mention that you can also add stealth multiplier when you are invisible, and have the hush mod on your Kuva Brahma. Also, a viral slash build is a great choice for Ash, but Ash isn't the only stealth frame that can make Kuva Brahma extremely powerful. Jellyfish Prime, or commonly called Devara, can also give Kuva Brahma a big boost. Give your Rivara lots of power strength, efficiency and duration, plus her empowered quiver augment, and you'll be hanging on dash wire, nuking enemies from above. The critical damage boost will be a big buff to the Brahma. Not to mention that you can also add a stealth bonus multiplier if you have the hush mod on your bow. Speaking of damage buff, the likes of Chroma will definitely increase the deadliness of this bow. However, it's most likely a dual edge sword. You can kill enemies, and as well as kill yourself. If you got some teammates to take care of survivability or crowd control though, you can always equip these damage buffing frames, especially Mirage. What's more dangerous than a buffed Kuva Brahma? A buff Kuva Brahma that have lots of cluster bombs. If you give your Mirage a lot of duration and power strength, you will surely destroy everything that's on the field, including yourself. But Warframe buffs are not the only ones that can increase the Kuva Brahma's damage. Abilities that can create damage boosted clones can also make this Kuva tech bow overpowered. Say for example, if you mod Equinox with lots of duration, then the duality augment, you will most likely be spending your time watching your clone murder a bunch of enemies in seconds. Just a quick tip, if you are doing this synergy, then be sure to have the Unaru Focus Void Shadow. Equinox clone is pretty squishy and it needs to be out of sight so it can become effective. The next one is Mag. The idea is, to magnetize enemies, and then shoot Kuva Brahma on them. But honestly, that doesn't work. I'm just kidding lads. Mag is out of the picture for this synergy. Kuva Brahma's arrow will just bounce off when you shoot it on magnetize. This frame has a new Kuva toy gun, and I will feature it later but for now, let's move on to my top 2 favorite Kuva Brahma synergy. In second place, I choose Vorban. His Bastille turned to Vortex will let you crowd control a group of enemies. It's a great ability for Kuva Brahma because of two reasons. It allows you to set a certain location wherein you are safe from Brahma's explosion and two, it's great with a gas and slash build Kuva Brahma, since it allows all the gas proc to affect all the targets caught by the black hole. Number 1 is Revenant. The reason is pretty simple. This frame lets you play with Kuva Brahma without being scared of its self damage. Add a lot of power strength on your build, put rolling guard, and lots of efficiency mods, and you will have enough Mesma skin charges to negate all of Kuva Brahma's self damage. This is the fact about Kuva Brahma. It's very lethal, that even your character can die with one explosion but, the self damage can be contained, if you are extra careful or use the right frames for the job. Honestly speaking, Kuva Brahma is one of my top primaries right now. The destructive power of this weapon is absolute madness. If you have been watching most of my recent videos, it's all about melee weapons. That's how good the melee rework was, that it made me think of skipping all the guns in the game, and just play pure melee. Well, 
that was halted when I began farming Kuva weapons. I'm thankful that Digital Extremes have made such guns, and I hope to see more in the future. Also, be sure to check out my future videos as I will be discussing how to farm Kuva Lishes solo easily. Also, more Kuva build and synergies. So that's it. Kuva Brahma is a top weapon. Get it, use it, enjoy it. I have no questions about how awesome this weapon is but, if there's one, why the fuck is Cautious Shot not working with Kuva Brahma?